next topic of the fact subject is end of line voltage support to prevent the voltage instability and this is the fourth topic of uh, unit 3 that is the end of line voltage support to prevent the voltage instability so before going to discuss about uh, the voltage instability presentation method so what is meant by voltage stability here we can observe that the voltage stability that is in short form voltage stability in short form it can as voltage stability vs so the voltage stability is mean here is the ability of a system to maintain the acceptable voltages that means minimum and maximum voltages within that every system have a minimum voltage and maximum voltage within this level is nothing but acceptable voltages that is the ability of the system to maintain the acceptable voltages like uh, minimum and maximum voltages under normal and abnormal conditions so what is meant by that that means here we can observe that the ability of the system to maintain the voltages in within acceptable limits that means the limits are v minimum and v maximum the limits are v minimum and v maximum within these limits v minimum and v maximum under normal and abnormal conditions so what is meant by that that means here if the system is working under normal conditions it takes some voltage and it that means it reaches some voltage if it a fault occurs that is means abnormal situation any fault if the open circuit fault or short circuit fault that is nothing but abnormal situation under that the voltage may be under voltage or may be over voltage so even though the fault occurs that means even the normal and abnormal conditions the voltage the ability of the system maintain the voltage is nothing but a voltage stability if not maintained like that in abnormal and abnormal conditions then we can say that is a voltage in instability from this knowledge we can observe that the voltage instability is one problem which is severely occurring in the power systems so in order to prevent this voltage instability problem generally uh, we go for the compensation technique so in the previous class we discussed about the midpoint voltage regulation in that we, uh, we discuss about uh, uh, shunt compensation we uh, in that uh, again we studied that how the compensation can improve the active power and how the compensation can improve the real power similar to here similar to the uh, same compensation technique uh, can also adopt it here can that means it could go our technique can apply it voltage instability problems and everything as well voltage instability problems in the course of time there are any problem in the course of time normal and abnormal conditions for course of time normal and abnormal conditions system and the voltage limits within limits will act for the anti-a limits will be the system with the voltage and the within limits will act for the monkey then the amount of voltage and the instability will not the voltage they want to get the money want to know the voltage collapse in that moment so if if that kind of situations occurred in a system it leads to grid failure generally always we need a constant bus voltage at the grid side you are not able to maintain that voltage in order to uh, due to the problem occur problem of voltage instability problem so due to this uh, presence of this instability problem we are not maintaining the constant voltage at the grid level this is nothing but the voltage instability then there are several causes uh, which leads to uh, voltage instability problem then generally there are a loss of some generation or suddenly suddenly transformer tap changes changes and some kind of uh, dislocations that means connections so for example for say, sake of simplicity uh, let us assume that one problem occurs in the power system for example that problem is uh, for example here let us consider the one load one load which receives the which receives the power from two generations generation one and generation two for example let us assume that the load which can receive the power from both the generator 1 and 2 that means the load which consume the power from generator 1 and 2 if it has some problem occurred in the generator some system power system suddenly the generator 2 have failure occurred suppose if the problem occurred in the generator 2 or generator 1 uh, whatever may be 
for time being and assume that gender 2 is having a problem therefore gender 2 is disconnected from this load that means entire power is which will deliver from generator 1 to load that means generator 2 is a ideal situation that means it will not carry any power so therefore generator 1 is carries the power from here to load therefore entire power can be bear by or uh, carried by generator 1 due to this there is a voltage instability problem occurred in this uh, load end that will receive in end there will be overload or to be under load situations so this kind of situations are uh, voltage instability issues to the presence of one loss of generation one loss of okay, generator loss of that is that's why any voltage instability issues are there so generally you could put a bus the voltage constantly maintain cheyali cast the constant voltage maintain cheyali ante voltage instability problems here voltage instability problems are there remove cheyali ante we need some extra method our method ne man compensation technique anta so but here the uh, our topic is end of line voltage support to be why and the, why why we are connecting the uh, compensation technique at the end of the line because of in the radial transmission system in a radial transmission system voltage stability issues that means uh, voltage instability issues or voltage imbalances occurs at uh, especially in the end of the line to prevent this voltage collapse or voltage imbalance conditions generally uh, in the end of the line we are connecting the one compensation device is it clear so that's why in the most of the time we are connecting the uh, compensation device near the, the load end in case of uh, radial system okay so again uh, coming to the, our topic uh, see this is about uh, justification of our topic now we are going to the one example taken uh, or taken as a one example uh, to understand very clearly about this concept so let us assume that uh, here uh, one uh, here are two system that is the one generation and the sending end voltage is vs and uh, the receiving end voltage is vr the impedance of the load is z that means here generation is vs and receiving end voltage is vr and impedance is load z and the transmission line reactance is x there is one system so in order to, to analyze the power flow equations in a particular this system generally uh, the p is nothing but v1 v2 x into sin delta and uh, q is nothing but u x into cos delta minus 1 which i have already seen in the previous sections so here you can observe that from sending end to receiving end there is a transmission line that is reactance it carries the current let us in the current i it carries the current i line current i so in order to analyze these voltage instability we generally we draw the pv curve that is we draw the pv curve so where are we getting from this concept generally in the power system there are three uh, three stability issues then the voltage stability and the frequency stability and the stability but out of which uh, here we are discuss about the voltage stability issues uh, in order to analyze these voltage stability there are two methods available in the power system that is the pv curve method that is the pv power active power and voltage stability analysis pv vsa method and qv vsa method that is the active power voltage voltage source analysis method voltage stability analysis method and qv that is the reactive power and voltage 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 and voltage stability now so here vsa is nothing but voltage stability analysis v is nothing but voltage p is nothing but active power q is nothing but reactive power and v is nothing but voltage so generally out of which we go for this pv method to analyze the v versus p that is here the p is nothing but here uh, power that is the load power that means the impedance which carries the power p load power p in the terms of per unit value and v is nothing but voltage at the receiving end in the also in the per unit generally in the so in the power system so many times the consumer side the receiving end side facing the voltage stability issues that's why we concentrate on the always in this receiving end only that's why the that's reason why p versus v curves at the receiving end would not for sending and voltage and sending and generation we always concentrate about p load power here p is nothing but unit value especially the power is nothing but load power the load which re which receives the power from the generation that is the load power and we are in the receiving and voltage 
least coordinate tuleb P versus least coordinate, least coordinate tuleb power versus voltage coordinate. For time being, we assume that for different load having different power factors. Generally, uh, we go for the any kind of uh, power systems or any kind of home applications or any kind of uh, commercial or maybe industrial applications. So many loads are there. The loads may be lagging loads or leading loads. In that, uh, the same scenario also applicable to these, this large power system network. Because of large here is nothing but we have the long transmission line is about kilometers. That's why I'm, I'm um, represented as a large here. So here we can observe that uh, the different values of power factor, the P versus V curves are changing here. So here this is the unity power factor. This is the curve in the unity power factor, and this is 0.97. This is the 0.97 leading, and this is the. Uh, 0.8 leading and this is 0.9 leading and this is 0.85 lagging and uh, this is the 0.8 lagging. That means here this is the unity power factor reference and this is the 0.85 lag for otherwise 0.95 lagging and 0.85 lagging. This is 0.97 leading and this is 0.9 leading and that means uh, this is the unity towards unity. This means the value decreases towards unity. The value increases here like from lagging set. From this concept, we can observe that the voltage stability, voltage stability, voltage stability decreases with inductive load because of there are two kinds of loads in any commercial system or industries or any home application systems. Generally, the inductive loads and capacitive loads, that means lagging loads and leading loads. If the volt, uh, voltage stability decreases with uh, lagging loads, with lagging loads that means here you can observe this is the unity power factor this much of voltage this is the lagging power factor this is the voltage this is the some kind of lagging factor that means example for thickness 0.85 and this is 0.9 lagging this is one unity that means voltage from 1 to unity to 0.95 lagging from 0.95 to 0.85 lagging the voltage will be stability will be decreases Similarly, for leading uh, loads, the voltage stability will be increases. From this curve, we can observe that voltage stability decreases from the lagging loads and uh, voltage stability increases with the leading loads. For simply, for sake of simplicity, capacitor loads, voltage stability increases. For inductive loads, voltage stability decreases. Uh, this is about uh, without compensation, uh, this is existing in the any power system, generally from generating to load end. You can also clearly the uh, curve here. That means at this power initially, for example, at power P is equal to zero. That means power enter the current amount P enter load power. That means without any power, load power. That means you are disconnected the load simply. Without any load power, how much voltage is it here? That is the V R. That is the one per unit. Here, one per unit. Without any load power, uh, the receiving end voltage is one per unit and the load power is zero. If you further increasing the load, that means while connecting the load, increasing the load, while increasing the load to meet this load demand, generally the impedance offered by the load decreases. That means you are further increasing the load, increase just number load, but to meet this demand, generally we are reducing the impedance of the load. While reducing the impedance of the load, while reducing the impedance of the load, the current drawn by the uh, transmission line, the current drawn by the load, or otherwise current drawn drawn by the load. And in that case, the transmission line which is current. Why would the current be so? And in that case, why would the current be so? Because the load comes and because why would the current drawn by the load? That means while reducing the input, the current drawn by the load increases. And uh, in this scenario, the voltage drop appears across this uh, transmission line uh, also increases, but very smaller rate. From initial from no load condition to small small increment in the load, the uh, the impedance offered by the load decreases. The current drawn by the system increases. As some system is consisting of transmission line and load increases, then drop voltage drop and we to I X uh, also increases. But this is not in a faster rate. So in the man curve is going to zero P per unit. If you are increasing the load from zero to this one. The voltage drop decreases. It is happening. Is it clear? This point. Up to certain point. Uh, 
ఆ పాయింట్ని ఏమంటారంటే ఒక సర్టెన్ పాయింట్ ఆ పాయింట్ ఎక్కడి వరకు ఆ జంక్ అంటే ఎంతవరకు ఎంత పీ ఇంక్రీజెస్ వోల్టేజ్ డిక్రీజెస్ వైల్ ఇంక వైల్ డిక్రీజ్ ఇన్ ఇంపిడెన్స్ ద కరెంట్ డ్రాన్ బై ది లోడ్ ఇంక్రీజెస్ ద ఫోర్ వోల్టేజ్ డిక్రీజెస్ విచ్ ఈస్ అప్ టు సమ్ క్రిటికల్ పాయింట్ ఇన్ సమ్ టెక్స్ట్ బుక్స్ ఇస్ ఆల్సో మెన్షన్ యాజ్ నోస్ పాయింట్ ఇన్ సమ్ టెక్స్ట్ బుక్ ఇస్ ఆల్సో మెన్షన్ యాజ్ నోస్ పాయింట్ దిస్ పాయింట్ ఏమంటాం మనం నోస్ పాయింట్ లేదా క్రిటికల్ పాయింట్ అంటాం at this point the point represents uh, for various kind of load and power factor the voltage changes this uh, this is the nothing but a critical point or nose point nose point and degree and but various power factors and loads the voltage changes that is nothing but a critical point at this point load load increases uh, voltage decreases up to this critical point after that after that if you if you further increasing the load the impedance it will be further reduces the impedance will be further reduces the current drawn by will be again more and the incremental volt increasing the voltage drop will be that means voltage drop edaitho vastunda voltage drop anedi faster ga manaki increase avutundi for it further reducing the impedance to enduku reduce chestam you have to meet the load demand demand perugutundi kabatti man em cheyali ikkada current ni ekku supply cheyali కరెంట్ ఎక్కువ సప్లై చేయాలి ఎందుకు వోల్టేజ్ అనేది ఎప్పుడు కూడా బస్ దగ్గర కాన్స్టెంట్ గా ఉంటుంది ఇక్కడ ఇప్పుడు మనం కరెంట్ ఎక్కువ సప్లై చేస్తే ఏమవుతుంది ఆటోమేటిక్ గా మనకి ఎక్కువ పవర్ డ్రా చేసుకుంటుంది ఎక్కువ పవర్ డ్రా చేసుకోవాలి కరెంట్ ఎక్కువ సప్లై చేయాలంటే ఆల్వేస్ అబ్బియస్లీ రిడ్యూసింగ్ ది ఇంపిడెన్స్ వైల్ రిడ్యూసింగ్ ది ఇంపిడెన్స్ డెఫినెట్లీ ద వోల్టేజ్ డ్రాప్ ఇంక్రీజెస్ హియర్ సో ఇఫ్ యూ ఫర్దర్ ఇంక్రీజింగ్ ది లోడ్ ఈ ఫర్దర్ వోల్టేజ్ డ్రాప్ ఇల్ బి రేట్ విల్ బి ఫాస్టర్ రేట్ దట్ మీన్ వోల్టేజ్ డ్రాప్ అనేది ఫాస్ట్ గా ఇంక్రీజ్ అయిపోతుంది సో ఇంక్రీజ్ అయిపోయిన వోల్టేజ్ అనేది సడన్ గా ఇంక్రీజ్ దట్ మీన్స్ ఇంక్రీజింగ్ ది లో ద వోల్టేజ్ డ్రాప్ విల్ బి ఫాస్టర్ రేట్ అట్ పర్టికులర్ సిమిలర్లీ ఆల్ కైండ్ ఆఫ్ డిఫరెంట్ లోడ్ పవర్ ఫ్యాక్టర్స్ దిస్ ఈస్ హ్యాపెన్ సేమ్ సో దిస్ అబౌట్ అప్ టు క్రిటికల్ పాయింట్ ద వోల్టేజ్ డ్రాప్ విల్ బి స్లోలీ డిక్రీజెస్ ఆఫ్టర్ క్రిటికల్ పాయింట్ వోల్టేజ్ డ్రాప్స్ ఇంక్రీజెస్ వెరీ ఫాస్టర్ రేట్ దిస్ ఇస్ అబౌట్ వోల్టేజ్ పి వెర్సెస్ వీక్ కార్ వీ విల్ కంటిన్యూ ది we will continue with the next uh, topic that means uh, in continue in continue the next topic uh, with the help of the compensation devices in the next section